Hello and welcome to St Matt's Sunday Club Online. I hope you've really enjoyed your Easter holidays and are now looking forward to going back to school this week. Now, how have you spent your time? What have you enjoyed doing best? Well, I think for me, I enjoyed the chance to sit and read in my garden. Well, until the weather got a bit colder and then I sat indoors instead. But the best thing about Easter for me has been the chance to think again about the amazing true story of Jesus dying and returning to life. The most incredible true happening in history. Jesus dying to smash sin and returning to life to show that he has also defeated death. Now Jesus appeared many times to his friends to convince them that he really was alive that he was back from the dead. Now, the Easter story is one that I know well, but it still fills me with wonder and joy.
Well, I wonder what you had for breakfast this morning. Maybe it was cereals or toast or bagels or croissants or porridge. Do you have a favourite thing? Well, I had cornflakes this morning, but my favourite is really toast and marmalade. Well, there's a breakfast in today's Bible story. So let's listen. Some while after Jesus had risen from the dead, Peter decided to go fishing on the Sea of Galilee. James and John and some of the others said, Wait for us, we'll go with you. They stayed out all night, because that is usually the best time to catch fish in places where it's very hot during the day. They stayed out all night, but they caught nothing. Early in the morning, as they were returning to land, they saw a figure on the shore by the edge of the water. He called out to them, Friends, have you caught any fish? No, they answered, we've caught nothing. Well, throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. When they did this, they were unable to haul the net back into the boat because it was so full of fish. Then John realised who it was and said to Peter, It is the Lord. As soon as Peter heard this, he put on his tunic and jumped into the water and swam and waded towards the shore. The rest of the friends towed the net to land as it was too heavy to pull back into the boat. Jesus was waiting for them with fish cooking on a fire and with some bread ready to eat with it. Bring some more fish, he told them. Peter went and counted what was in the net. There were a hundred and fifty-three large fish. And amazingly, with such a weight, the net had not torn. Jesus then asked them all to come and eat. Then he took the bread and the fish and he gave it to them. No one asked him, who are you? Because they all knew it was Jesus. There was no doubt he was most certainly alive. What a breakfast! Now it had been a difficult, tiring night of fishing, or rather of not fishing, as they'd caught no fish. Peter, James and John were experienced fishermen, but this night the fish were avoiding their nets. So when a figure appears on the shore and gives them some advice, lower your nets on the right hand side of the boat. You'd expect them to be rather grumpy. I wonder if any of them thought, who do you think you are telling us how to fish? What do you know about it? But they were so fed up, they probably thought, oh, why not? Let's just have one last go. And when they did lower the net on the right hand side of the boat, loads of large fish just leapt into it. And when this happened, suddenly, John knew exactly who the figure on the beach was. It wasn't someone from the nearby village offering advice. It was the Lord Jesus. And John knew this because catching lots of fish when there are no fish to be found must have reminded him of the amazing catch of fish a few years back when Jesus first asked those fishermen to come and follow me. Some of you may remember that story. Well, here we have the risen Jesus doing the same miracle, the same amazing thing as he did once before. He's showing them that he is the same Jesus. But by doing this miracle, he's also reminding them that they have a job to do. Because when the first miracle of catching fish happened, the first amazing catch, Jesus said, follow me. 
You're going to help me rescue people and bring them to be friends with God and me. Instead of catching fish, it'll be like fishing for people instead, said Jesus. Well, now Jesus does the same miracle to help them to remember that their job is the same. They are still to be fishermen, no longer of fish, but of people. Jesus wants them to tell others about him. And what a wonderful story of Jesus they have to tell. They can tell about the Jesus who died to save us and who returned to life and so is always with us. And just as Jesus helped them catch the fish, so Jesus will help them when they fish for people, when they tell others about him and bring them into a friendship with God. They will not be on their own with this job. And just as the net was full of so many fish, the people who will listen and believe will be many. And of course, that is what happened. First hundreds, then thousands, then millions and millions of people have come to believe and trust in Jesus, the risen Saviour. that when everyone reaches the beach they find that Jesus has made a fire and has some fish already cooking. That's because Jesus knew that what they needed most at that very moment was food. He is caring for his tired and weary friends. Come and have breakfast. Come and be with me, he says. Jesus cares. So how wonderful for them all to sit and rest and eat and talk with Jesus. But this means that we can know that Jesus will care for us too when we are weary or perhaps scared or worried. Come and be with me, Jesus is saying to us. And so we can always turn to him and talk to him. We can be with him because he is alive forever. And if we do that, then we will find that Jesus gives us rest and joy and peace. Well, what a breakfast. 
There was no doubt about it. Jesus was alive. We can believe it. So for our prayer time today, if you are a friend of Jesus, we will say what we believe. It's a prayer shout we've used before and it's called a creed. If you don't yet read, then listen to what the other people in your house are saying. Right, are you ready? Let's do this good and loud. I believe in God, our Father in heaven. He made the stars and the earth and everything in it. I believe in Jesus, God's son. He lived on earth, died on a cross to deal with my sins and rose again. Well, we're going to end this morning with a song about Jesus, the hero of heaven, who's done great things. If you don't know this one, then listen to the words and think about all the incredible events of that very first Easter. Come, let us worship our King. Come, let us bow at His feet. He has done great things. And see what our Savior has done. And see how His love overcomes. He has done great things. He has done great things. Well, that's all for today. 
But did you spot what Peter did in our story? He was so keen to get to Jesus, he didn't help with the fish. He didn't even wait for the boat to get to the shore. He just jumped in and swam towards Jesus. He wanted to spend as much time as possible with him. Well, next week, we'll see what important things Jesus says to Peter after they finish their breakfast on the beach. So do join me again. Until then, take care, everyone. God bless you and bye-bye.